Hey, Rachel. Hi, honey. How are you? Good. How are you? Oh, I'm all right. I'm, I'm like glued to the TV right now. Okay. Turn it off anyway. <laughs> I all right. I will. I will turn it down. <laughs> Did you ever think you'd see this day? Nothing surprises me anymore. No. And I've just got a phone call. I'll, 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 I'll call back. Okay. Yeah, you need to turn your ringer off while we're on the I meeting. Mean, thank you, Rachel. You don't, we can't see you. Let me call you back, darling. I'm on. Who's on 733 uh, Who's that? That would be me. Jason. Who's me? Dan? Me. Jason? Jason. Yes. <laughs> oh, Jason. Oh, very good. Welcome. I just wanted to make sure I knew who that was. How are you doing? Yeah. You had some rough... Well. Uh, Rough road weather there. I didn't think 189 was done very well the other day. What do you think? Well, yeah, it wasn't too, too bad. It was nothing like Route 86, I can tell you that. So I went in on Saturday, and they didn't even have the trucks out till noon, and I was, uh, well, I was going 20 miles an hour. I think I passed you going one of the directions. 80, 86 was terrible. Which road is 86? That's a cutoff coming back from Marion. It is awful. Oh. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Wow. That's, that's terrible on the best of days. Yes, it is. You're right. <laughs> you are right. But so you know, a, road. a beautiful road. Yeah, yes. Anyway, Rachel, I agree with you. It's been a little bit interesting um, today. So the whole events have been rather oh my God. interesting. But I not to bring them up at the meeting. No. But a day that will go down in infamy. Why? Am I missing something? I worked all day. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, they stormed the Capitol building over the, uh, over the, uh... The Proud Boys. No, it wasn't... What? It wasn't necessarily them. It was thousands and thousands and thousands of Trump supporters because they don't want the... They think they want Mike it was, uh, uh, a false and phony and stolen. Well... Yes, that was their logo, uh, stolen election. Because they're certifying in a joint sense, uh, Congress, uh, um, between the Congress and the Senate, they uh, decide with Mike Pence, and they, each state, like they got to the third state. They got, you know, um, Alabama, I think it was, and then they got to Alaska, and that was fine, and they got to Arizona, and they contested the electoral votes so if you do that and there's a signature in both house and the senate then they can go to a two-hour debate so about 20 minutes into the debate all these people decided to march um they somehow managed to get up over the stairs and then i don't know how they got into the actual capitol building but they were marching around oh. there so everybody everybody had to go into lockdown and the proud boys and the protesters well, this, this, this country's doing well, isn't it? didn't it? say it was the bad boys to me, but it was just, I mean, they, their argument was, it was it's the people's house. And it, I don't know what happened because I wasn't able, I, I've been working since three. So did anybody get hurt, Rachel? So, yeah, a couple of people got shot. Well, wow. I think there, there is a, uh, a curfew at six. So. You're right. So they and have to the go. The governor from, of Virginia is calling in um, a Fox the National Guard, National Guard's people plus some law enforcement. It is what, what, not, what, 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 what bunch of animals. Yeah, it's not a pretty scene. It's they started. They tried. To, they were peaceful all day, but something happens when it gets dark, right, Rachel? Oh I mean, no, this happened like in the middle of the day. This was in the day, and they were. Stir- you know, Carol, I know that you're a Republican and I'm a Democrat, but this is how I saw it. I, Donald Trump had a speech to them early, a rally earlier today. And basically kind of stirred them up. And they marched to the White House and they stormed. They got on the Capitol building. Well, 
Well, well, well, to be to continue. It will. We'll have to see Watch what happens. Hopefully nobody gets hurt. Watch. Is uh, Sonia, are we all here? Is that Sonia there? Sonia's here. All right, so we're going to say say the Pledge of Allegiance. And Renee, I don't have my camel. <laughs> you are cabalous. <laughs> Oh, but here, I've got this thing here yeah, that, I'm table that I can yeah, pound yeah. on the table. All right. <laughs> I, I, I can see my head off the wall. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States, States of America, America. and, and to the, the republic, republic for which it stands, which it stands one, one nation, nation under God, God, God indivisible, indivisible with liberty and justice, and justice for all. For all. Excellent echo, Rachel. Excellent. Yes. Now, <laughs> we need um, a motion to sign the warrants. So moved. <coughs> I will second. Do I have a second? I okay, did. Jason seconded. All in favor? Aye. So I'm just going to assume, unless I hear a nay, that it's all in favor. Yes. Of yes. those opposed, no. Okay. So we're good. I That's the only way I can hear is tonight? nay. I don't see Dan on here. No. But we have four people. Okay. Approved minutes of December 22nd. Yes, I, do we have a motion that, for that? It looks good. Do I have a second? I second I'll second it. I'll second Okay, Jason seconding. All in favor? Those opposed? No. We have no old business. Now, first uh, order, this is going to be a short meeting. Knock on wood. <laughs> <laughs> the first. First thing on the agenda is the snow procedure. We thought that we would write down a procedure for snow closures because it's people get confused as to what happens. So Renee nicely came up with a policy that you should have in your package. Objective being of this policy is to provide guidance for the closure of the Lubeck Town Office and recycling during the cold weather. This policy is to provide guidance and instruction on when to close the Lubeck Town Office due to implement weather. The procedure management will adhere to forecasts and current weather conditions when making a decision to close or delay in the opening of Town Office and recycling. Once a decision is made, the announcement will be placed on the Town website, Facebook page, Channel 2 and Channel 5. To help keep the staff and public safety safe during inclement weather. See, the thing is, it's, it's, it's a little confusing. So, we do have... Is that whose significant other, her husband, is up at 5. She knows about the roads. She's up, she's leaving at 6.30. So we have someone that can actually look at the road conditions besides just look at the weather reports. And I don't want the staff to come in, personally do not want the staff to come in at 8. If it's ice, and we've had a plethora of accidents in the last two weeks. So oh, I, I, I can't... I, yeah, go I, ahead. I totally, I totally agree, Carol. Uh, the safety is the, the most important thing. The whole nobody, nobody on the select board wants to be responsible for making someone come to work at eight and then finding out that we have black ice. And, no, I, and I would, I would state too. You know, if it starts snowing during the day, and Renee calls it, I am totally good with that. I mean, that. And, and she great. always calls me, and I always get a couple other people yeah. on the select board to agree. So if it starts snowing at twelve. What we usually do is we'll say we're closing at 2. I mean, we always give it a couple of hours. If, like, if it starts to snow, we want it, we right. want to give it enough time so that the people can get in and get their business done if they need to. But, yeah, that's kind of like... And I think snow is not as big an issue as no. ice. We get this mix here all the time. Lubeck is unique in that. I mean, it, it really... In the world on the coast. Horrendous. Terrible. So that's the thing I really worry about. I agree. I'm, I'm mostly concerned about the next. So it's just snow and it's different. Anyway, um, thank you. We just need a motion to pass this closure. This is allowing, actually, what it is doing, it is allowing I will be the glad to dad and Renee to do this. make a decision without having to contact three selectmen. Mm -hmm. I mean, she yeah, always told I mean, me that's... anyway. But... Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good with her making the call. I'll, I'll make that a motion that we accept that. Yeah. I'll second. Okay, all in favor? Those Aye. opposed? No opposed, so four to one. Four to nothing. Dan is not here yet, right? At the bottom of the floor. Everybody seat. else on here? John Rule. Hello, John. I see you now. <laughs> Hi. Okay. 
what else are we doing? Is that Sonia that I see in the audience there? Yes, and that's why I'm here on my computer, because you can see me. I don't yes. like being so far away that you, I can't yeah. see anybody. Yeah. Wastewater treatment line update, you know, you heard we got a leak over there, Mexico Hills on the other side there. And Renee is going to update us on that. Yes, uh, the behind the pump station down on Water Street near the Fisherman's Memorial, uh, there was a, a line that broke, and um, we had to contact DEP and report it. Uh, Hanscom's was there today. The big dig happened. They dug down and found the issue, and tomorrow the repair will take place. So be careful down in that area of town right now, but. Hopefully it'll be fixed tomorrow and everything will be one again, all will be well again. <laughs> Thank you for taking care of that. You're welcome. So the safe harbor update, just wanted to let you know that as, although we have done all of our preliminary work and the only thing stopping us from going to contract is we did get some feedback from our environmental review. We get like this whole sidebar full of questions from the Marad team in Washington, what, you know, what's this, what's this conclusion to this, and, and that, I'm working with Oscar on that, and that should, doing the holidays, that will slow down, we, of course, we got that feedback on Christmas Eve day, so obviously, we're working on it this week, so once that's been um, approved, we should be good to go, so that's all I have to say about this, Barbara, because we can Carol, I need to give you some information that I, you know, I go around and talk to lots of people and, you know, people talk to me because they know I'm a selectman. I cannot tell you how many times people say to me what a wonderful, wonderful thing Safe Harbor is. And I always say you and, uh, and Julie are the reason that you work diligently and you are still working. And so, yes, Safe Harbor is a very positive thing and that it will, when it's done, it will have implications for many towns in the area, not just Lubeck. You are my best oh. PR person. Thank you, Rita. You betcha. You can run my next campaign. You are on another side. Well, only if you run on the Democrats. Uh-oh. <laughs> there's, there's only one side. There's Dan. Key word oh, Dan, so Dan well. is here. Dan, I hear him. You, you, would, think, you would think radio <laughs> was a school all teacher or something. Side. Dan was watching television, I'll betcha. Yo. Uh, and I lost my lunch and dinner from the last, like, eight months. So, yeah, sorry about that. That's all right. Okay, so that's, I thank you for that, Rachel, that was very sweet. The bandstand, uh, I think, Rachel, you and I were talking about that over the weekend, yes. um, and yes. so maybe you want to head, spearhead what we're Well, I, I, I would be very glad to talk about it, because it's been on my radar for the past few years. Uh, the bandstand is uh, an area of this town that is very beautiful. It's a wonderful thing that we have. In the summer, it's used by musicians, and it's right next to the Masons, and uh, people use it. I mean, it's lovely. It has fallen to a, a period of disrepair, and I know that Renee has put out a call for someone to bid on repairing, and we've had um, meager, if not uh, poor, response, which has kind of stuck in my craw. Not that I want to belittle what people are doing, but I feel that in this town, we have incredible talent. We have carpenters, master carpenters, master contractors, people who really know what they're doing. And, would, and I think this is their time to step up to the, the, the plate. And well, I right through it. It's, it's funny you should mention that because I've yeah. talked to a lot of my contractor friends. Yeah. And and I'll tell you, it's it's a timing thing. Yeah. When this thing came out, it was terrible timing. The bid. Yeah. Yeah. And people now are booking work for the spring, summer, and some are booked up for the year already. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm going to say is now is the time to put it out put this out and I, you know I was looking at it the other day 
I happen to know the fellow that built it the first time. And it doesn't need as much in some areas as as what is on the bid, and it needs more in others. Yeah. So I mean, Jason, it, Jason, this was my plan. Let me just jump right in here. I think rather than have one person take, you know, do the whole thing, I think we need to have a compendium of local tradespeople, local people who have skills. And one person can take the lead, but everybody who lives here in Lubeck and enjoys the bandstand has Thursday evening dinners at the Masons, who enjoys the pleasures of what we've got, need to come together and work as a group and fix that damn bandstand. What do you think of that, Jason? Kind of like a barn racing. We get yeah. we, yeah. we know all the supplies, and we just take one weekend and we do it. Unfortunately, the people with real that are really good and really talented won't do it. Are busy as hell, and that is the whole thing. And you know, for them to come down and do what they do during the week, most most guys, I'll be honest with you, are working. Six seven days a week right now. Even they are now. six week days. I agree. I so agree. I mean, I you might, you, you're not going to get. You best off to put it out to bid because you're not going to get the one guy runs all and all the volunteers that ever works. I can tell you. Well, it's it's very well intentioned, but I have been stuck finishing roofs for for poor folks that well intentioned started off. When people started it and they did half the room mm -hmm. and left it leaving, mm -hmm. yeah, and I've had to pay my guys to go in and finish it. Mm -hmm. So uh, I know where you're coming from there, Jason. Well, why don't we put it out to bid again? See if we can get somebody that's local to do it. it that would, that I think, it would be a good compromise because the only thing we got was from far away. It's way too much money. Mm -hmm. Oh, that 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 money was crazy. And I, like I said, I talked to a couple of people. I I happen to know just a few of them. You know, and it's a good project. It, it is a real good project. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, I'm gonna take the time. I'm gonna go down and look at it. I know it needs a carrying beam on the bottom side. The, the floor joists are all in good shape. It needs a carrying beam. It needs a post. It needs some deck boards. Uh, I was and gonna get with Mike. Lee. It needs to yeah. be electrified. It, there needs to be some power. There is. Point there. There is power to it. Well, we yeah. need, to, need to see if that needs to be updated it, it, or whatever. My thing was to, to talk to Mike Lehman and see what he had for Cedar. Absolutely. Um, and, and stuff yes. like that. that yes. I can, give, I can sit down with Renee and give her an approximate cost of what it's going to be to do this thing, materials and the whole nine yards. So we don't, I mean, a bit of $26,000 is amazing. Not. No, that's the crazy. Whole, thing, whole thing was built, rebuilt. Torn, the old one was torn down and rebuilt for twenty eight hundred bucks. I know. I thought that was outrageous. So I'm hoping somebody has pity on us and that lives in the community, like Rachel said, and would like to very much, even if they do a little bit each weekend, like even if they don't just do it for like three days, get it done by the end of the. Like we really want it done. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank project. you. I mean, thank you, Jason. If you it is a beautiful spot. That would be great. I agree with you. We agree. So we'll, even though we'd like a barn racing, we'll, we'll go for an official bid. That's a little more reasonable. If so, we um, barn racing, I'll bake. We'll bake. Right. We will. Uh, Washington Street sidewalk, I had actually wanted to know if we were going to be plowing that because I know we don't have the equipment. And we also had some constituents concerned about it. And Renee will tell you that she spoke with Ricky at length. And they can't be done during the day because it has to be done at night. And Renee, can you explain to us why we have to be done at night again because of the traffic? The traffic, it? yeah. It's a very busy road in the back with the island, the post office, the downtown area. And they're in the road with the tractor getting that cleared. So. It took them three hours oh. to clear it the other night. 
So yeah, it's not a Dallas priority. Is, Dallas is lending us the track. I mean, yep. we've had we have community support on that. We cannot afford to get the equipment we need for sidewalk, but we do believe that it needs to be cleared because there are some elderly people uh, that walk in the road, and we just do not want that. That's why we have the sidewalk yeah. built. So it's now well, I thought it's we, cleared. I thought, I, I thought we had talked about with the money left over from the project, we were going to buy a piece of equipment for the town department uh, to clear this. To borrow Dallas's stuff, Dallas and Joanne are great for lending it, but it's not right for the town not to be prepared to do the sidewalk. We knew it was coming. It's part of the contract. It was part of the I plan. agree. We have to have and a special town clear. meeting. We'd have, to, we'd have to hold a special town meeting to get this done. We're just trying to get through this once winter, and then we're going to go to town meetings to try to purchase. Uh, we don't know how much money we have left. We, we, Renee and I have been working on the cost, although it did come slightly under budget. Uh, Renee, uh, I had to remind her that we, in fact, had costs from the state as well. So if you add the actual Hanscom cost along with what the state billed the project, we're really not that... We're really not that under budget, so that we're going to have much money left over to buy a twenty thousand dollar tractor. It's a thirty. Well, let me let me <laughs> let me float this out there. We have a side by side in the in the, in the fire thing. Okay. What's a side by side? I mean, the four wheel drive side by side. Oh, we do. Okay. Yeah. Now. Is it? It's the fire department. Oh, it is. Why do they have one? Why couldn't we purchase a, a plow for that? Oh, okay. Well, we have to talk to Bob. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just throwing it out there for That's this. That's a great year. idea. But why does the fire department have a side-by-side? -side? Do they need it to get to hard places to get to or something? What? Yes. 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 Now, now, Chief Hood, if he was good enough to let us use it for the year, you know, for the rest of the season, that would be perfect. So all we'd have to, to do is buy the plow, and and obviously we would have to put it on. Are there, is it already on our insurance policy that side by side? Yeah. Yeah. Renee. Yeah. It is. It is. So if we could come to terms with the fire department to allow us to use that vehicle just for this at one Washington Street sidewalk, uh huh. We would have to just purchase the plow part. That's a great idea. Now, yeah. Yes, that was that you, Jason? Yeah. Yep. Excellent. See, you are such a viable part of this select board. He knows and his next year in our budget to take seventy eight hundred bucks and go buy a four wheeler at Home Depot, and we're all set. We can do all the sidewalks. <laughs> That's a That's problem. also very good. See, Dan and Jason, what what would we do without you? I'm sure a lot of people have some thoughts, but I was just going to say that. Thank you. I'll cut it out. Okay, that's a great idea. Can you check on that for us, Renee, to see if we can do that? We could, we could probably get the money to buy that piece of equipment. For that would be good. Yeah. Right. Any other business? Mean, if nothing else, I, I mean, a plow on a four-wheeler would do the job perfectly also. No, that's different than having to buy a tractor. Which is way too much. Which is so I didn't take it very me, so I don't get to. I personally think David Aldrich would have a wonderful time driving around town at night in a four wheeler and a plow. He would love that, and he would. David, he would love it. That's where he has some nice homemade pizza. That's right. That's right. Some cinnamon buns. Any other business? I have other business. Do you do you want us? Do you need a motion for that, Renee? That we should ask the fire department to no, you know, right? No, I can just. You can do that. Yeah. Okay. Um, All right, I have some other business. Anything else? Yep. Did, um, we, did we discuss today mm -hmm. gathering Renee at all, or is that for another agenda? You can talk about it. What gathering? Go ahead. Can Can you oh, hear me? So Go ahead. Oh yes, we met with the. Uh, oh gentleman from the solar company today uh, oh. out on that 42 acre lot behind the uh, sand shed and it went very well oh, so uh, it's an opportunity for not only income for the town on its tax base but as well some advantages for the town 
in terms of its electrical bill and as well as information for guidance for local residents as well to save money. Uh, so it's in its infancy, but uh, Renee, I think we'll agree. I think it went very well and um, they're going to put a few numbers together for us and we'll discuss it. Um, I'm certainly at a future date, but I just wanted to make sure everyone knew that that took place today because it got so late. Thank you. I think it's very important, Dan and Renee, that I know that this took place today, and it sounds real positive, but I want to make sure that everybody's clear that what they're doing as it manifests itself will be of of advantage to everybody in Lubec. It will not cost the town any money. Uh, the property gets, you know, leased for whatever is the determinant factor. Uh, we discuss discounts in regarding to the electrical use of our our electricity bill in town and on the roads, as well as the opportunity for uh, locals to get discounts uh, if they haven't already, because there is a program they can sign up for. Uh, so more information coming, but it is only. Uh, it's very proactive, progressive, energy saving, and uh, as of now, certainly nothing but good good uh, for the town being proactive and, and saving money and actually earning money. And well, plus the we've been trying to, to figure out what to do with that property for a long time anyway. Yeah, yeah. Solar is the best thing you can do, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, it is not visible. Um, and they were very, very nice today, and um, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting more information and continuing to go forward with this. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for going, Dan. Yeah. Well, if there was any other uh, committee yeah. updates, for Nancy, you said you wanted a committee update. I've got some other business. Um, live meetings. The planning board, especially, is looking to have meetings again. What is your status on that? Do you still want to do just Zoom, especially with the the rumored possible outbreaks happening now, or what? I think we just well, do I think, yeah. yeah. We yeah. need I Zoom. Think, get, let us get through January. Yes, sir. I think uh, until there's some more vaccine available, yeah. there's no reason why we need live meetings right now. Yeah. Everybody yeah. should be able to Zoom. Okay. You can do that even on your smartphone. Yep. You don't even have to have a computer to Zoom, right, Renee? You can, you can do it call. on a smartphone. You can just call with a regular house phone. Like, or you can call with a house phone. Yeah. So I think that right now the uh, it's just skyrocketing the amount of cases. There are cases yeah. in fact people do need to be careful. And nine people. We are so... We are, is that what's on nine people in the back? That's what I hear, nine people. So... And you know that can escalate quickly sure. in a small community. Sure. So there's no reason why we should have. As far as the planning board, there's no reason why they can't have a Zoom meeting. I, okay. I, I don't. I'm. It's not. I'm not going to give them my blessing. Okay. Yeah. That sounds good. But um, planning board and also the school board. I hear. Yeah. They they're having a meeting tomorrow night and it's not being offered Zoom. I I yeah. encourage I, I the superintendent's office to make. So I am be. not going to go. I, I'm happy coming into the town office, which I have to do the stamp checks anyway. I'm being around these people with my mask. I'm here alone right now on Zoom, but I don't need to be subjected to any live meetings, especially when the government is not subjecting themselves to live meetings. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So I will I'll make a motion right there. Wait, wait, wait. I got some more. Martin Luther King Day, the office is closed. Just a reminder, we're closed on January 18th. And I have another announcement that's from a code enforcement officer. He is um, really, propo- well, there's, there's a gentleman that has advertised that he tears down buildings. Um, so anybody that has an older building that they don't want anymore, they can contact this guy. He comes and he, he saves the wood. So he is agreed to take down the building over on Pleasant Street, the mansard roof one that we've been after for a while. When, when is he doing that? February 14th. Well, when he's going to the owner? Well, 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 if the town is involved in this. The town's not, really. The town's not involved. He just 
told him about what it. What happens if he leaves all the lead laying there and all the roofing? Who, where does it go? Thank you, Jason. And, I mean, before we jump on this, and we say it's a good thing, where's everything going? He I'm re- going to a gravity yes. pit and going to be burned? Uh, I think we need to for you. A dumpster. Yeah, before the town suggests anybody's referrals, yeah. you need to be careful that... The, the people have to I get mean, a dumpster, and then a dumpster is, is... He saves the wood that he wants to keep, and a dumpster is used for the rest. Dumpster any, any for all this, means just for wood. And, and, and no, no, what I'm saying is, and he pays for all this just for taking the wood. Yes. Right? Is well, it, this is what you're telling well, me. He's not getting paid I, a dime. I'm not, we're not now. working up the agreement that happens between the guy and the property owner. That's between them. But this is just, Gary wanted to let you know that action is going to be happening on a source. So okay. Gary's um, spearheading this with someone who will do this for the owner. To, I guess he's trying to get the box down for the owner because the town wants well, to put it down. Right. If Gary's Wait, doing Jason it, I'm, wants it done correctly. I understand that. If, if, Gary, if Gary's in on it, I'm confident it'll be done right, that nobody will be burning a house on the front lawn or throwing it in some gravel pit somewhere because the last thing the town of Lubeck needs is the DEP down here one more time. I think we've already been warned more than once by the DEP to to do it right. So Gary, you know, I think is orchestrating this with the owners and the. I'm totally, right, Renee? I, have total, yep. I have total confidence in Gary. Yes, I think you also oh. want to consider the escaping vermin from that house. That yep. you know, perhaps the uh, what is it the uh, woods and waters whatever should be notified. I think I think, I think somebody, you're right, Renee. Yeah, yeah. Somebody, <laughs> I think somebody said that before they tore down uh, yes. peacocks to get. No, them I don't them. think yeah. we got yeah. any warning. That's right. Oh. You know, remember the peacock rap fiasco? <laughs> yeah. I don't think I got any warning on that. That's a wildlife <laughs> issue. Yeah. That's a state issue, not. <laughs> <laughs> John, are you going to the school board meeting tomorrow? Yes. Well, okay, very good. Um, how many people usually show up? I'm just curious, because I know they want Wanda wanted me to come. Well, just the entire school board shows up, but as far as the general public, uh, just me. Oh, okay. So then Wanda wanted me to come because of the discussing the furnace. So it's not like a huge amount of people. It's just the normal school board and yourself. And it's down at the school? Oh, okay. Well, that's different. Very good. Well, pardon me? All right. Well, thank you for that. So I'll entertain a motion to adjourn then. I would so move. Second. Second. All in favor? 